Hi guys, welcome to Phosphorus Cycle. So in our previous video we were looking at the nitrogen cycle. Now we will have a look at the phosphorus cycle. So before we start, a few uh, things about the phosphorus cycle. So in terms of the phosphate, it's a, a really important biological element because it's a component of phospholipids, ATP and nucleic acids. It could be constantly recycled through the biotic and abiotic environments and it's slow and often localized. So comparing with uh, nitrogen, phosphate lacks a gas phase and the, uh, has no atmospheric uh, compound. So uh, in terms of the cycle, we've got here a diagram that illustrates the uh, cycle of the phosphate. So phosphate ions in plants uh, could be then feeding and digested. So the uh, phosphate ions will be then present in animals. So those phosphate ions from the animals will then uh, be extracted. So they will be then dissolve uh, ions, for example, in the ocean, lakes and soils. So phosphate ions in the waste and remains will be then, uh, what the, uh, uh, the erosion will take place and the, uh, where we're going to find them as well will be like similar uh, stage before, they will be dissolved in uh, ocean, lakes and soils. So coming back to the phosphate ions in waste and remains, what else could happen to them? The uh, process of deposition. So they will be then found in the rocks. So from the rocks, what could happen? Number five, it's the erosion and fertilizers they could act on. So they will dissolve phosphate ions in ocean, lakes and soils. So from the ocean and lakes, uh, we can get this dissolved phosphate into rocks as well. And the process of this is called sedimentation. So coming back again to this dissolved phosphate ions in the ocean and the lakes, we can then get those into the plants by process of absorption. So the last stage we've got here, uh, the phosphate ions in animals will also get uh, into stage of the waste, which is uh, by the process of decomposition and excretion. So the stages of the first first cycle then to summarize the phosphate ions in rocks uh, are realized to soil by erosion. Phosphate ions are taken into plants by roots and incorporated into biomass so uh, to produce DNA, RNA, phospholipids, uh, NADP, which is a, a final acceptor of hydrogen and electrons in the light dependent reaction, RUBP, which is the five carbon compound uh, in the light independent reaction in plants, and the rate of absorption will be uh, increased by uh, mycorrhiza, which we look at in our previous video on nitrogen cycle. So the phosphate ions will be transferred through the ch food chains. Some phosphate ions will be lost from animals in the waste products. Decompose, and they will be decomposed by saprobionts. So similar to what we did in our previous video, they will release enzymes for extracellular digestion, which releases phosphate ions to the soil. And weathering of rocks also release phosphate ions in the seas, lakes and rivers. They will be taken up by uh, producers, passed on to the food chains and the waste products will be produced. So uh, to summarize uh, the role of mycorrhiza in nutrient cycles, so this is the association between certain types of fungi and the roots of the plants. It's a mutualistic relationship where the plants are going to get water and inorganic ions and fungi will receive organic compounds such as sugars and amino acids from the plants. So in this part of specification, we also need to be looking at the uh, function of the natural and artificial fertilizers and the effect. So that's in our next video. So that's everything for the phosphorus cycle. See you later.